Google Docs installed. So how would I add it? How what you're I doing it? now is you're traversing the, the five home screens. Okay. You've added shortcuts to the Google Apps here just for how many, purposes. That, how many of these? How many of these? Going to the App Store. I can add to any of these. That's what about moving ass between? Sure. So once I create a shortcut, for example, you can move it over to. Um, oh, what is that? Yeah. What is that in the back when you? Uh, it's the grid, so you can see where you want to uh, drop things whenever you move them. Can you resize the widget? Uh, not resize. Yeah. All right. And then what were some of the other things that were key in the demo? Is this the size that we're going to get here? Or can you scroll? This is the exact production template, right? Gotcha. Okay, and then. It's 1280 by 800. So this just takes me back. Yep. And, and that's a that's a shortcut widget to the browser. So if you tap one of these links, for example, it'll open the browser to that to that location. So let's say if I want to go to wow, that's big. So if I want to rotate. Okay. And then are we on Wi-Fi now or? We are on Wi-Fi now. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, we didn't test the voice. Yeah. Oh, that's see how fast that was. And these are the concepts you guys also use when it comes to this idea of fragments. So within an application, you can have different little like building blocks. That is different. is there an option for me to turn off the auto rotation? Uh, there, there is an option. Correct. So if you click here, uh, if you go to settings, you can lock the screen orientation. Gotcha. Uh, just like that, so it doesn't rotate when you turn it. And then this is the auto. That's the brightest. So we've just had. Uh, hey. And he's calling us. Yeah, you want to take that? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you go? I think we hung up on you. Oh, let's call him back. <laughs> it was an accident. Yeah, let's call Larry. Let's call him back. Uh, uh, video right there. He's available. Actually, actually, I think we are Sergey. Oh, we are Sergey. Yeah, so, so let's, let's call. Try, let's try Larry. Let's give him a call. We'll do a video. You think he'll pick up? Let's see. And over time, developers can write an application that handles problems. Hey, Ben. <laughs> oh, there he there is. Go. It's going to take a call. He did or didn't? Where is he? Uh, it looks like, looks like he's not accepting. Ah, uh, bummer. Okay, so I would end that. So you just go back to home here. So the software buttons are always at the bottom of the screen, regardless so of, of how you're How does it dim off? Does it automatically dim off when you don't need it? Uh, what's that? The, the, like the, the buttons? buttons at the yeah. Bottom? That's correct. So uh, if you jump into books, uh, you can see that the as we go into um, a book, you can see that the, uh, go ahead, turn a page, uh, and you can see that the status bar goes until it lights out mode, uh -huh. so that the, uh, the icons are dimmed, so they're not distracting, they don't take away from what you're looking at. That, that happens with when you're watching video or reading books or any kind of immersive application. So it doesn't go, uh, yeah it does. Yeah. That's nice. And then, what were some of the other key features you wanted to show us? Yeah, so uh, the hardware acceleration and the graphics capability, like we were just seeing in books, is one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the 3D type of uh, apps that you can build now, uh, for example, with uh, the stack flow, it has depth to the application. So you can have widgets that bring content out to the home screen. Uh, if you tap into, uh, for example, YouTube, um, as uh, as Hugo was describing, we have render script for developers that let you build these kind of 3D immersive experiences. This kind of carousel of latest uh, YouTube uh, videos shows you how that works. So you can't zoom in. Okay. So you just uh, just can roll through them and then just select them. You can see the same sort of thing uh, in Google Maps. If you launch the, the Maps application, you can see the 3D buildings, and you can rotate around. Yeah, you got it. And we also support. Um, uh, it is, yeah. Uh, we also support multi-point touch, so you can have two fingers to change the perspective of the map, and then uh, rotate around like that. Okay. Nice. What were some of the other things that I'm trying to think of that was uh, shown here? Oh, well, just that applications now can be broken up into what we call fragments. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I'll let you do that. Uh, yeah, the, the camera's there. Uh, if we go into, for example, Gmail, you can see that we have uh, the app. Now, if you're looking at your phone, you would just see one screen at a time, and as you touch something, the other screen comes up. 
Now with the larger screen size, we use fragments to break it up. So developers can program different fragments and then kind of combine them as building blocks to build the user experience. Uh, in this case, I'm looking at my inbox. If I touch a message, you'll see that this fragment will slide out and you know the message slides in and you can read the details. Can I see some of the setups, the configurations sure, for the yeah. device? Because I don't think we've, that was, that's been shown yet. Uh, so you want to look at the device settings? Yeah. Yeah. So what happens if I rotate? Does it? It should rotate as well. Okay. Yeah, so it's just is easier this way. Of fragments. We use that within our. So what's this? What's different here versus on 2.3 now in terms of the setup? Has there been any uh, changes? It's it's very similar. We try to follow a similar pattern Look for on Android about, users. About. So it is 3.0. Yeah. And then. Look at the cores. Um, where? Where are the cores? What are you looking for? Android 3.0? No. Uh, the the core, the CPU core. Yeah. Yeah. Did, how long did it stop? I, I just got it. Okay. Exactly. Let me so let me start over real quick. I got the about stuff. Okay. So you can you can install a known source as well. Yeah. Is that just on this device or no, it's I on, mean it's on all devices. Okay. Yeah. So you're not you're not bound to your Android market. It's just uh, our preferred channel of distributing applications. Gotcha. Can you go to the marketplace? Yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. Let's do that. Let me finish. Let me finish this real quick and then we'll go to the marketplace home. Yeah, and then the market is here. When you're in the market, is this just is this showing you all apps or is it showing you these tap honeycomb specific apps it's also? You all apps. So you can have access to the phone apps as well as tablet apps, right? Here. So, so is, but so there's no differentiation saying this one is a tablet app versus this is a well, phone. Well, if the developer app. chooses to put that into the description, it will. So it's like really, that CNN um, one, which was it, it was available only on Honeycomb. So that would be here, but not in a phone market. Correct. Market. So developers, whenever they publish their applications, are you recording this? Ben, are you recording? To uh, allow them to be shown on. Uh, Okay. So this is how do I get okay? Say okay. Ah, oh, we're not on the internet. What? There we go. I'm on again. Okay. So same go back out. Okay. It, yeah, it looks like it is. So let me. You got it, Ben? Yeah. Okay. So. So it looks like it's. Very nice. Okay, I'm still going. Wow. Are you still going? Yeah, it looks... There's no modification. There's no modification straight in. Yeah. Same application works the same way. It's just stretched out. That is just amazing. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm... And okay, so log in. Oh, okay, so this is nice. All your menus. If you have an option menu. And then... Okay. I got it. Okay. All right, I think, was there anything else that we might have missed? No, I think you got all the main bits there. <laughs> awesome. All right, thanks. If you don't mind, I'll Thank you.